Hey guys, welcome back for more Minecraft story mode. So today we're going to do episode two. So let's go. So apparently this game has eight episodes, but previously way. on Minecraft story mode, it's very long. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings and broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes thrown together by fate must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether? Connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. It's amazing. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're going to get to Eligard's, get her to help us, and we're going to save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! Hide! Great! More gas! Oh, no! The mine car! something about the ghast. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? What? The bow. Yeah, use it. You know it. So long as you really know what you're doing with it. One. Was there more? Okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. Redstonia. I think the music bug, their sound bug, I mean. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday that I'd really sound? get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing? You know. No, 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 okay. I think the sound just bugged. Us? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hopefully when we load the new area, it fixes it. Wow. Intro already? Intro to a uh, second episode. Like, usually this is like, uh, 20 minutes until the intro starts, right? And I was very short, like, uh, less than 5 minutes it started already. Probably, or, most likely this episode is uh, probably shorter than the first one, right? Yeah. Builders of Redstonia, I want you to know how much I value 
and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, is that her? There she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. Ooh, what is that? Please continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. What is that? Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. Failed already. Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Mm, maybe you can save the world. Sure, if you can save the world. No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, do we give it to him? No. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. Yeah, I don't want to no do No way. That. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Fountain. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Repeater, another repeater. Take it. What is this? Lava Disco Creator. Let me talk to him. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> uh, what is this? What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion cows? of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Mm. Okay, let me talk to him then. He said don't talk to him, but we'll talk to him. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty, but some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. Mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Mighty yeah, Mechmaster. It's huge. 
It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Elagard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Elagard's protege. I told him I wouldn't tell you this, but he thinks you lack creativity. That you're not inventive. Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. Right. No good, dirty... Mm. Ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call them like I see them. Oh no, my machine! What? Oh my oh, the cows! cows. Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Oh, they're meat now. <laughs> no, they died. Okay, let's go back to... Olivia, or she? Wait, where is she? Left side? Catapult. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. Cowapult. <laughs> the hell I are you doing? notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> no. Oh, believe me, he'll love it. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> Can we try it? Where is it? Use. <laughs> Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for okay, no apparent there she reason. Is. Okay, now we know. Okay, place the repeater here. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Okay, what did we? It wasn't the middle one, right? Switches on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Right. Bam! Door open. Switch is on. Okay. Okay, good, good. Wow. Here it is. Elagard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Hmm. What is this? Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Yeah, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, take it off. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. 
there. Oh! Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. A lava curtain. Okay, hit the lever. That's awesome. Zipper. Another one? Another lever? Just pull everything. How about Ruben? Can Ruben come up here? Okay. There she is. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is! <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. What? She We're not your assistant. Do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow. Now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Uh, Ms. Eligard? Yes? I'm very sorry, but I'm sort of concentrating on something here. I could really use your help. Oh, you can get it. Just turn on the delivery system circuit, then choose what you want. One blaze rod, one iron block. Please. Fine. Okay, where is it? Here? One blaze rod, iron rod? Okay, delivery circuit is on. Blaze rod, iron block. Okay, blaze rod. Why oh, is there two levers? What is this one? Is it both of them? Is that both of it, I mean? Wow, blaze rod. It's all tingly. Just what the engineer ordered. Uh, Eligard, I got those things you asked for? Ah, excellent. Fantastic. Love it. Always happy to have a capable set of hands around. Carrying materials, disposing of fainted assistants, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Come on, come on, come on. What's the same? Winner pick? Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6451. Another bust. Now, about you three. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me. Could you please not lie on my floor anymore? Someone's gonna trip over you while carrying lava, and it's gonna be such a mess. Lava 
everywhere. And boy, nothing gets lava out. Nothing. Except more lava. I don't think that I've ever fainted before. I was just so excited to meet you and... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew, kind of glad, actually. What with Madame faints a lot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. I know that making a command block probably seems like a great idea, but you really don't want to do that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. Yes. This certainly changes things. Yes, he gave it to me so that I could find the order. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Brew. Can you really do that? <laughs> this is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Sure, we got no choice anyway. <laughs> she doesn't like Olivia. Rinse and repeat until we get it, right? Still fail. Once more. So how many materials does she have? It's insane. We need to get to the portal! He's so, 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 
so, so sorry. Oh, no! It's so big now, look. Help! Over here! This way! Jesse! Slow mo. Just go inside. We left Calvin. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that Lucas. you? Just let us in, Lucas. I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard. Fantastic. How about the other hey, one, on. Magnus? You guys right? are never going to believe who showed up while you were gone. Will we. Petra? Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just mm. glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Did the Witherstorm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Oh, Boy, Axel. I can't remember the last time I saw this place. He's with Magnus. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone. Mm. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, the Riddler. Who are you then? Why'd you bring the mm -hmm. Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the King of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Did you say... Yeah, I did. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! 
Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. True. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. I need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. Soren. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Super stronger TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that <laughs> dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never it's seen it real. Before. I swear. Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. Hey, he's not in the map though, right? He wasn't on the map. What? Do I need to put it again? Okay, I guess I need to pull it again. All right, there's your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little... Weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. So he'll help us, right? What? Whoa. It what didn't is that? do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is that? Oh. No. That's Ivor! Ivor. Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move. It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous. We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning. Avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus. And I don't want to risk it mm. catching up with us. We have to go, now. It's so bad that you're going to just go waltzing out in the woods at night. It's not night yet. We'll just go as fast as we can. I think Magnus might be right. And he's not usually a big fan of safety. Well, let's just and go I now. With the storm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. <laughs> <laughs> 
What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. I mean, Ivor is already going there, though. If we stay until the morning, yeah, he would be there already. So it's better to travel right now. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. You look like the Riddler, What's sir. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but he's our jerk, you know? Can't help but like him. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. Oh, here come the zombies. The skeletons. See? This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. True. Spiders. We can hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. There's a lot of them. How many? We got only one arrow, though. Move. Now why am I using a book? Okay, I gained this one. This run. It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it. I mean, if we travel in the morning, it probably might be night as well, right? When we arrive there, so it's gonna be the same, anyways. I think we're still gonna be fighting monsters. Maybe, I don't know. But because look at this, it's still nighttime when we arrived. What is this? Soren really lived down here? It's so far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> <coughs> what is happening? She's sick. Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Look! What 
What? What are they doing? What are they doing down there? I'm not sure. But I'm glad we're not a part of it. Come on. We should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow. Wow. This architecture is incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Are they I think they're fighting already. Look. They're fighting. <laughs> they're arguing. Like look at Eligar and Magnus. Oh, be quiet. It's See? just a pointless building. That's all I'm saying. I mean, look at this. If an artist painted the inside of your mind, that's it. I'm going. No. Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no. You do not get to be the one who walks away. That's it. I'm going. Oh, no, we got to choose I'm again. Away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. True. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Yeah, let's go to Eligar because he chose her already. Right? Yeah. Eligard. Petra? Are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But let's okay. split up. What is it? What is happening with you? I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. got me away from the wither storm but i'm worried that i didn't get away soon enough what oh what is that it showed up not too long after you saved me what is that what's wrong with your arm do you know what wither is the wither of course we've been no jesse just wither or wither sickness i guess I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. No. But we're gonna go back and tell the others. We can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Oh. My God. Ah, Creeper. Creeper. Grab my hand. I'll pull you up. Oh, oh my! I fell down. My amulet. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. She's losing strength. Jesse? Go and find the others. Hopefully you can find a way to get down to me or something. Okay. I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. <laughs> Reuben, no. Okay, let's get the amulet. Where is it? Pick it up. this I mean only places to go forward right dude hopefully we can help Petra remove that wither sickness dude don't let her die please okay straight ahead What is this? 
Books, a lot of books. Okay, this is open. Can we get inside? Oh! Is that Soren? The, the music is very nice. The ambience. Must have the atmosphere. In here. He Was it to... Ivor? Why would he have so many books? What is Ivor? Collecting them? He can't have read all these. Hey, show yourself. Who's there? I toys oh, Ivor. You the, the... trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you, clearly. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Sorry, Ivorum. Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ah, foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. I should let the Order decide. They'll know what to do. That kind of justice is too good for this monster. That's right. I'm the only one who can stop the Witherstorm! Not you, not the Order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. We are the villains? Are you serious, sir? It's your fault. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> this could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! Is he fast now or invisible? Easy, oh, he's very I fast. Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> you could be anywhere. Stay in your guard. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away. One's on you, you puffed up fool! Oh no. Magnus and Hildegard may think they can stop me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. It's over. See, I told you it was short today. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode.
In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. That's it. Episode 2, Assembly Required. Okay, so yeah, we finished episode 2. Very short chapter today. We found Eligard, yes, and Magnus was found by A Alex. Actually, so yeah, we went to this uh, this place, Soren's place, but yeah, we, we couldn't explore it for now. But we saw Ivor. And yeah, he basically kicked our ass. So next episode, yes, we're just going to have to explore this place. Find their super TNT, right? And maybe find Soren as well, right? We'll just have to see. So I'll just see you in the next episode, guys. Episode 3. So for now, bye-bye.